everyone, my name is Jonathan with Gear Radical. Today I will be reviewing this Tula mic, of course, available at Tula.com. Uh, for $200, we'll see um, how the quality is because uh, from what it sounds like it's pretty good. Uh, some details on the back here it says it is a high quality USB mic slash mobile recorder for today's content creators and work from home professionals. It features Uni and Omni capsules as well as Burr Brown op amps to give you a studio quality sound with without the studio. With its embedded Cleave Grand noise canceling algorithm, the Tula mic can reduce unwanted background noises. That's really sweet. And with its onboard battery and eight gigs of memory, it can provide you with up to 12 hours of mobile recording in high quality WAV format. Also, it is available in three different colors. I think the red, white, and black. I believe I got the black one. I haven't opened it yet because I want to do that on camera. So let's head over and do that. So yeah, it's packaged in this pretty simple box. Again, more details on the back. Uh, get great sound for Zoom, YouTube, podcasts, and more. Uh, enjoy the freedom of mobile recording. Advanced noise reduction on demand. A professional mic made by audio professionals. High tech inside, simple outside. Modern style with a hint of nostalgia. So that all sounds pretty promising. That looks pretty sweet. You got the little Tula kind of embedded in there. So right off the bat, it is, it's got quite a bit of weight to it. So pretty good quality, you can tell. Uh, I love how kind of modern it looks as well as uh, nostalgic. It, it definitely reminds me of those microphones that a lot of people had back in the old days with just that kind of rectangular shape with uh, the kind of holes here where the microphone is. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we've got uh, some cords in here and I'm gonna have to kind of read the instruction booklet so I can understand what the heck is is going on with these buttons. I love the uh, way you've got Tula engraved there on, uh, on this kind of stand. And then when you kind of move the stand around like this, it'll sit down like that. Then again, you have Tula engraved there. As far as the things on the side go, you can uh, put uh, headphones in there to listen to your recordings. Uh, this is volume up, volume down. That is the record button. That is to, uh, you can also press this again to pause the recording. This stops the recording and this will play what you have um, recorded. That is the on and off button, of course. On this side, we have the gain. So uh, it's, uh, how loud it will pick up your recording. We've got the gain, you can increase there and decrease there. This is to fast forward. This will be to go back uh, through your recordings. That's to mute the mic. Not exactly sure why you would want to do that. That's noise cancellation. So just will not pick up as much sound in the background as it would if you didn't have this button on. And that is the Omni mode. Now you can actually kind of disconnect this from uh, its stand here. You can twist it counterclockwise and it will just kind of pop off like so. It's really smooth the way that works. And they include this little piece here, which you can uh, put in like that. And then you can actually screw this onto uh, a stand for recording. I don't have one of those, so this won't uh, do very much good for me. But for people who do have a stand, that is included to kind of screw on. I think it uh, holds it up like this. So it does include this, and basically this will connect into the back. And then you can plug this into your computer so you can uh, kind of do uh, YouTube vlogs or even Zoom meetings will <laughs> give you better audio there. Uh, but I really wish there was a way you could kind of plug this into your phone. I mean, there might be, but I don't know because I'm not very smart. But yeah, if you have an app like iMovie and you're recording on there, you can plug this into your uh, computer, change your input to the Tula mic so that everything that's recorded will be using this microphone as opposed to the microphone in your computer. So I've got the LED lights turned off for now just so you can see these buttons light up easier. So on button is like that. Uh, then we can turn on noise cancellation mode like this. Kind of hold down a little bit there. And then you can uh, kind of do the gain here. So as you can see, this green light is lighting up with um, how you're talking. It will kind of disappear after a second, but this is kind of makes it go louder. And when you see the red, that means that you should probably turn it down a little bit so that it's not overwhelmingly loud. But when you start recording, uh, you'll hit this little button here and then you'll have this red light. 
Uh, you can pause the recording like that, resume the recording like that. So again, pause, and then stop. And then you can play it like this, but you'll have to plug in uh, headphones to actually hear what you recorded. And in order to uh, get your recordings is you plug this into your computer and it should show up in your finder or on your desktop and you can open it up and it will basically have a bunch of different little wave files, which are all the separate recordings. And so basically this is what the recording sounds like and I think it picks up uh, a lot better than the iPhone 11 that I'm using to record um, videos with. So I'm really hoping that they have an adapter that you can plug into the back here and then plug into your phone. That way uh, you can basically just use this as the microphone as opposed to um, the, the built-in um, iPhone 11's microphone. And that way you won't have to go through the hassle of getting the recording off of the computer and making sure it matches up with your initial video recording that you took on your phone. So I was literally about to end off this video until I noticed that the uh, the mic just stopped working. Like I wasn't, I'd keep pressing this button here and it wouldn't turn on. Uh, and then I took a closer look at the user's manual and I noticed it said that this right there is the uh, reset, the reset button. And so I looked it up on the website and they said, basically just take something like a paper clip and then just stick it right in there and you'll hear a click. And then a little orange light will turn on right here. And that just basically means the, 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 the microphone crashed maybe because, uh, because I was using it so much or I was plugging it in and unplugging it to things. I don't know, but it did save my recording. So none of my recordings were deleted. So if that happens to you, don't freak out. So yeah, final thoughts, uh, $200. I think it is a very good price for, uh, just how useful this is. You can not only use it, use it as a USB recorder, but you can also use it as a, a mobile recorder. Um, it, the sound quality is really good when you compare it to other things. Um, it's, I'm really glad that it's uh, really easy to get the recordings just by plugging it into the computer and then they will just show up as little files that you can drag onto your desktop. I'm really glad that that is possible. Uh, yeah, just really good quality and uh, I really encourage you get this if it's something you're looking for. If you do a lot of uh, like YouTube live streams or you want your Zoom meetings to sound better, uh, this is definitely going to come in handy. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoy our content. Be sure to hit the bell icon if you are subscribed to get a solid notification for every time we post a video. Once again, this is Jonathan with Gear Radical for Tech Gadgets and more. I'll see you in the next video.